So I've given you my personal definition of creativity. I also see creativity as a way to just look at what's going on right at this second, and that's appreciation. So I will often draw and write about my experiences living in New York. And I think for a lot of people, New York's kind of a rough place to live. Um, but I think taking time to really appreciate it for what it is makes me really love it. By giving something your full attention, a city, an experience, a feeling, a relationship, whatever it is, that will help you really appreciate it for what it is and for what it isn't. This is an exercise to really get you noticing and observing, which for me is a really essential part of creativity. I do one once a month for Instagram, but I also do them all the time for other parts of my life, transition times, those punctuation times I mentioned. Um, this is my heart, my blank heart. So I do these um, at the beginning of the month. I do it on my birthday. I can do them on a day of the week or about a certain city or vacation. Um, the idea behind this is that I think we hold a lot more than we think we do at any given time um, in our mind, in our hearts. And I, I prefer drawing hearts to brains, so that's why it's a heart, but the shape is kind of arbitrary. Um, you can do a pie chart or draw your brain, whatever you want to do. But this is just to show how many emotions and thoughts I can have about a single event or place or place of life at a certain time. So I'm going to start off by just drawing a big heart. Again, pretty easy to draw. Certainly don't worry about making it perfect. And I am going to label this one my New York heart. Again, the idea behind this is showing to ourselves how many thoughts and feelings we can have about one specific place or place in life. The way that this helps you really tap into your creativity is that you're really going all around your mind and seeing what you've been observing, maybe without even thinking about it. For me, a really big part of creativity is having to really get quiet. What am I observing about my place in life right now? What all is happening at once? Contradictions are really interesting in creativity, thinking about everything that's going on around me at once and really taking the time to zero in on that and write it down. I think a lot of great writers and artists do that. And when you share it with other people, you might hear them say, wow, I've noticed that too and I've never even really thought about it. So this is your chance to really think about it. So I will start out with my neighborhood bodega because that's something that I really love. That's the kind of thing that may not show up in the photos that I take, but it's something that maybe in a few years I'll think about and think, oh yeah, I loved going to that place and I loved that the owner would sometimes give me sunflowers and I liked that I could find a specific sort of soap there, whatever. So that for me would be a happy memory, something that I'm observing that I really like. Maybe another thing is crowded hot subway. This is about honoring both the good and the not so good. Um, I'd like to show you one that I've already been working on. And this is about the season of fall, my fall heart. So I've already written a lot of it and I will be painting it now because that's my favorite part. I sometimes use the time to really think about what I've actually written and meditate on it a little bit. It's one thing to write it out and it's another thing to actually sit with it. I love the season of fall, but um, for me it's a very emotional time. Um, so I wrote about all of these different feelings and thoughts that I have during September, October, and November. I really like Halloween. I especially like seeing kids in duck costumes. When I was making this heart, I thought about that's, I think, one of the highlights of fall. And then um, I was thinking a lot about leaves and how beautiful they are, but in the fall, they're also dying. So I have leaves dressing up for their deaths. And that's a really melancholy thought, but that's what I'm thinking about. I also put in this large block that says soft, light, clothes, book pages, and me. 
I feel very soft and squishy in the fall. I'm very emotional and kind of in touch with my feelings. Um, the light is soft. Clothes are softer. I read a lot more in the fall, so I wanted to honor all of that. At the top here, I have in love with anyone who will look at me. I feel very romantic in the fall, it's cuffing season. I have this one at the bottom that says the realization of, okay, maybe it will happen next year. I think toward the end of fall, we're thinking about what did we think this year was going to be like? And so I wanted to add that as sort of a hopeful thing for myself, like, all right, it'll happen next year. But also maybe kind of a more melancholy inventory of, oh, I didn't do the thing I wanted to do. But that's okay. A lot of people don't do the things they want to do. That's part of life. Um, part of making these hearts is um, sort of visually showing my commitment to a whole life as opposed to just a purely happy life. I could fill this with like, Lattes and leaves, you know, but that's not the whole of what I'm feeling in the fall. I want to honor the different feelings I'm having and maybe the kind of aches and the things that I want. And that will help me do some more envisioning for the future as well. So I think that a good ritual for creativity moving forward is to commit to drawing one of these hearts, either once a season, once a month, once a week, whatever makes sense for you. Sometimes when you're in a place in life that seems maybe just really hard and you draw one of these hearts and you see what else is going on, you see different context and you see, oh wait, this part of my life is going really well. Or maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. It's just a small part of my life. Or maybe there's other things that I wanna work on that I haven't been really paying attention to. So being intentional about writing and drawing what's really going on without judgment can really help you see the bigger picture and give you a different perspective. That's why I think this is a great exercise to get your creativity going. A lot of times I think we feel sort of stuck in one part of our mind or we feel like one part of our life is dominating the rest or we feel like we only feel one way about something. But if you really start writing it out, you might surprise yourself. And to me, that is kind of the ultimate goal of creativity and that's where creativity really works. And that's when we surprise ourselves through our own new perspective on something.